Welcome to From the Asian Human Gospel of Christ, Love for All Beings, Part 2 of 2 on Words of Wisdom. The Essenes were an ancient spiritual group with origins in Judaism. They lived thousands of years ago in the deserts along the Dead Sea and in parts of Judea. The Essenes practiced meditation, were vegetarians, and lived a strictly pure lifestyle. Lord Jesus Christ, also known as Lord Yeshua, was born into the Essene Brotherhood, and the Essenes wrote detailed accounts about the beloved Master's life and teachings. One of these texts whose fragments have fortunately been preserved is called the Essene Humane Gospel of Christ. Humaneness, especially toward the meek animal people, was an absolute hallmark of Lord Jesus as we discover time and time again in this fascinating gospel. Let us continue with when Lord Jesus explains why a humane diet is a plant-based one and that animal people are not food. Jesus teaches natural health reform, the natural cures of nature. And he named every fruit that God had given unto man as food, and every vegetable that God had given unto the beasts and birds of the earth. And on hearing these things, a certain Sadducee, who believed not in the holy things of God, asked Jesus, Tell me please, why sayest thou, do not eat the flesh of animals? Were not the beasts given unto man as food, even as the fruits and herbs ye spoke of? And Jesus answered him and said, Behold this melon, the fruit of the earth. And Jesus broke open a watermelon and said unto the Sadducee, See thou with thine own eyes the good fruit of the soil, the meat of man, and see thou the seeds within, count ye them, for one melon makes a hundredfold and even more. If thou sow this seed, ye do it from the true God, for no blood was spilled, nay, no pain, no outcry did ye hear with thy ears, or see with thine eyes. The true fruit of man is from the mother of the earth. For she brings forth perfect gifts unto the humble of the land. But ye seek what Satan gives, the anguish, the death, and the blood of living souls taken by the sword. Know ye not, those who live by the sword die by the same death? Go ye thine way, and plant the seeds of the good fruit of life, and leave ye off from hurting the innocent creatures of God. For I tell ye, man meets male and female beasts, for the food he so lusts after. But every plant and tree God so gives bears its own free seed for food. Depend ye not on the things unnecessary to your soul. Plant ye the good seeds of the melon, wherein ye say from season to season, and wait for the soil like sleeping man awaits the sunrise. For the seed was made for the marrow's meal, but the animals for the joy and pleasure of God and man. Jesus fulfills the scroll of Isaiah, and once again Jesus visited the territory of his parents, known by some as Nazareth, and as his custom was, went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day, and stood up, so that he might read from Isaiah's scroll, and there in a small meeting place was the scroll of the prophet Isaiah given unto him. And when Jesus had unrolled the scroll, he found the place where it was written and prophesied of him, saying, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to preach the holy way to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and the recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty and freedom all that are bound, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. And Jesus rolled up the scroll, and gave it back to the attendant, and sat down. And he began saying unto them, This day is this scripture fulfilled, yea, even as ye heard with ears of flesh. For I say unto ye all, I am the Christ who Isaiah spoke of, and did know. And the poor of the land are they of humble heart and spirit, who listen to my voice. 
even as I heal the brokenhearted, who know not the root from whence they came, but do know I come to heal them with truth and mercy. Yea, I preach deliverance to the captives, even all of mankind, enslaved to Satan's unmerciful laws, and of angels imprisoned in darkness. And to the blind I restore unto them light, my holy law, that they may know truth and see, both spiritual and physical marvels of God. And to those bound, yea, even every beast of the field, and every flying creature of the heaven, I set free. For I come also to put an end to every form of sacrifice in my Father's holy name. For at no time did my Father Mother God in heaven ask such cruelty, but wanted only of man the pure oblation. Yea, I am come to fulfill all spoken of me, and so shall all be fulfilled through my presence. And those in the synagogue began to question among themselves just who this man could really be. And then some of them brought unto Jesus a blind man to test his power. And they said unto Jesus, Heal this man now, even as thou have healed Gentiles in faraway lands, yea, even India and Egypt. For we have heard of your travels to many lands, and the marvels thou worked among the peoples. And Jesus, looking upon the blind man, perceived his unbelief and also the unbelief of those that brought him, and he perceived their evil desire to ensnare him. And on this account, Jesus could do no mighty work in their behalf. Their unbelief and unworthiness of the Holy Spirit was manifest in their conduct. And Jesus said unto them, Verily I say unto you, No prophet is accepted in his own territory, for ye believe me not to be the promised Holy One. But know ye, neither does a physician work cures upon them that know him. And Jesus went on to relate the examples of Elias and Eliseus as further testimony unto them. But when they heard these things, they were filled with wrath and wanted to do harm unto Jesus. But Jesus, passing through the midst of them, went his way and escaped their evil intentions. And the Gentiles would go forth and venture ahead of Israel in upholding all that is holy and pure and spread the word of truth unto many men and nations. If you love peace, choose vegan. If you love war, hell will choose you. Caring viewers, it was wonderful that you could join us today. 